Hello, this is a new tutorial about uh, group layers, which is a quite complicated concept. And therefore, this tutorial will be a little more extended. It's complicated especially because uh, the uh, group layers are interconnected with all the other tools uh, in, in, in Blender and you can't have an, I didn't find, an isolated uh, view on this uh, concept. But if you understand that, it's super helpful to structure your uh, design. It's very essential, um, actually. Uh, and you have to remember, the architectural design is about organizing, about uh, configuring hundreds of thousands of objects. And if you uh, lose control, then uh, you end up in a mess. So this is a very powerful tool and uh, it's group layering. So let's have a look where to find it in your menus. This is the object, cube, there's the structure. We go here for data of this object. We had the groups, we create the group. This is the construction element, a one. <coughs> so, and here, these are the group layers. And they correlate with these uh, layers of the objects and space. So let's, how, let's have a look how it works. So we had the scenes and the scenes are about versioning of your uh, design. We will have that. We have the outliner. This is about the structure of your design. We will keep that apart in this tutorial. We had the groups. This is the uh, inheritance and uh, uh, classification of things. So this is the internal structure, this is the explicit uh, structure, this is the implicit structure of uh, your design. And we have the layout, these are the aspects of your design. So if we look at that as aspects and space, this is aspects of your groups. And because the groups are structures, so it's aspects of structures. And these aspects of structures can be used or thought of as uh, levels of details of your uh, design elements. So therefore, what we have is we say, we can drag over it and deactivate that, which means this construction element of one is visible in its uh, representation on design level one. That's here, that's very rough. Let's keep it like that. And we say, this is our prototype layer. So this is the versioning of two prototypes. So this is a kind of the catalog of our design. So keep it like that. And we have to, now we uh, copy the settings, the whole setup. And we say, this is our layout 01. So now we can instantiate objects from the catalog. So we can see they are duplicates of this element, construction element of one. So now we work for um, that. Now we uh, can work on it, make a uh, and replicate. This is layout uh, number one. So we can have um, a copy of that to make a next version of it and say, oh, we want to uh, uh, change the layout a little. And uh, this is version number two. So let's say this is layout 02. So in this case, we say um, aspect one is this, aspect uh, two, for example, is this. By that we move it to, there's another tutorial for that, move it to the other layer. Now this is aspect two, this is aspect one of layout number two. So, and we can select them both uh, if we want to. So, now we go for a prototype and now for the layering not of the instances, but for the, layer, for the layers of the prototypes. So, here we are. 
and prototype De uh, level of detail number one now we duplicate that confirm without change and move it to level of detail number two go there and uh, <coughs> Now we go in and uh, make it more detailed. So, for example, take an ed and vertex and um, move it up. So that's fine. We have a double curved uh, face, so we don't like that. Select it, delete it, and uh, invert an edge. Back to vertices again. Select it, select that edge. Now we have two loops of edges and um, fill that. Now we have a more detailed design. Um, give it uh, material as another level of part of this level of detail. Um, okay. Aubergine. Metallic. One third. So, if you want to look at it, that's uh, our level of detail two. Go here. So, and here we say which level of detail should be shown in our instances. If we have one, this is shown. Now, this is a prototype. So, we are here, we are uh, level of detail. Uh, Two, we can have much more. Go for level one, and then we say level two. So this is for creating a thing. They both are on uh, with the, with this group. So and then we say all our instances in our universe now should be seen on level one. This is the duplication visibility, or it should be level two or both okay let's look at level one go for layout and here we see level one now go back to prototype and say we want to have level two here we go for level two layout two in level two aspect two aspect one that's it I hope you find it interesting. Uh, there will be a more extended example so that you can train it in an uh, architectural environment. But these are the principles and I think this is how to think about the interplay of these different uh, tools in, in Blender, how to structure your architectural uh, design. See you in the next tutorial.